Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Everything Scuba. I'm Lyle. I'm Josh. Lyle and I are scuba instructors here in the Midwest. We are. We're very passionate about scuba diving. We created this channel to make you just as passionate about scuba diving. So if you're a diver, you want to be a better diver, you don't know how to dive, you want to learn, this is the channel to come visit. So click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, don't miss out on any of the upcoming episodes. So this is part five of our introduction to your scuba unit. We covered the various pieces, BCD, air cylinder, regulator set, how to set those up. And on this episode, what are we gonna talk about, Josh? Today we're going to tear down our scuba kit. We're gonna assume that we've made a dive. Now, what do we need to do when we tear down that gear? It's always sad when a dive ends, but we gotta take care of our gear at the end. So stick around with us, we'll give you a tour. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, you guys uh, got to watch Josh assemble the scuba unit, uh, attaching his BCD to the tank and then the regulator system, getting ready to go dive. So once we're done diving, we got to disassemble it and get it ready to take our uh, parts and pieces to, to go clean. So first thing that I do generally when I'm done diving is I'm gonna check out my SPG and pay, make a mental note of how much air do I have left. Obviously we made that note before we went in the water. Mental note when I get out, that way I know how much air I used, how much time was I underwater. We can do some calculations, we're kind of geeky that way. We want to know uh, how much air did I use per minute. The less air we use per minute, the longer we get to be underwater. So uh, that's the first thing I do. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off the air. We can't disassemble the regulator and take it off of the tank until we've done that. So, as you remember, when Josh turned this on, he turned this valve all the way towards him as the tank was facing away. Now we're going to turn it off all the way. So completely close that valve so we have no more air coming through the system. However, there's still pressure in this system. I still can't physically remove this from the tank because of the pressure that's in there. So we have to bleed the pressure out. And the easiest way to do that is to use your regulators and there's purge buttons on both of those. You can use one, the other, both. And we're just gonna bleed the air out that allows the pressure to dissipate from the system. Now, I should be able to unscrew the first stage and remove it. Before I do that though, what I like to do is take off all my other hoses. Otherwise, I'm kind of wrestling with my first stage and all the other hoses here. So, we've already got our primary and secondary uh, uh, second regulators out. And we're going to take off our hose, which is unattached. Take it out of the little tracks. Make sure we put our Velcro back on. Also, this little nipple here, usually there's going to be a little valve cover. Uh, obviously, we want to wash this out, particularly if we've been saltwater diving. You can take this off when it's in fresh water, wash it off. We want to put that little valve cover back on just to protect it, keep your gear in good work and order, particularly if you own the BCD, or even if it's rented, take care of it. Uh, the, the people who rent it to you will appreciate it. So now that all my hoses are unattached, we can take off that first stage. And so we're gonna unscrew it and take it off of the tank. Now, we've got this little dust cover, remember, covers the inlet portion of that first stage. As soon as we take it off, let's put that back on there too for cleaning purposes. Now, I know some shops, they will actually clean their regulator set before they take it off. That way there's already pressure in the system. So air pressure prevents any water backflow up into the system. So they may actually clean things beforehand. So now that we've got this off, we want to be able to make this nice and tidy. So the way we best do that is two hands out, palms up, cross our hands over. Now we've made a nice loop with them that we can hang on the uh, hanger and keep everything nice and tidy. So we've set these guys out of our way for now. We want to get our BCD off of here. We can loosen our valve strap a little bit if we need to, not a lot. We've got the cam buckle. So it has this velcro strap 
you can pull on it to release it. And as Josh showed us first time, there's a nice little handle on the other side of this. So lifting on the strap, lifting on the handle, we're just gonna pull it up off of the tank. Take your valve strap off. And move our tank to the side for just a little bit. On the back side, depending on the connection system that you have, this cam buckle has again, nice Velcro. So we wanna be kind to our gear put the Velcro back together. That way it doesn't get all gummed up with dirt or sand or whatever we've been doing. Same thing if we had uh, weights in our trim pockets, making sure those are all done back up and our gear is squared away. And on the front, we're gonna make sure all our releases are put back together. We've got our weight pockets. Again, some places that we'll clean them, they'll pull the weight pockets out, they'll clean those separately from the BCD. Now our BCD is disassembled, it's ready to go be cleaned. And we'll talk about cleaning and how to care for your gear and a uh, different uh, show on maintenance of your gear. Last, the tank, again, if we're in, uh, diving, salt water especially, uh, many places will rinse off the tank, make sure the, the uh, inner workings are nice and clear. And again, if we're shore diving, if we're in a, a, a shore situation, let's lay this on its side. Um, or if you're at a shop, make sure that gets delivered back to the appropriate area so this has no chance to fall over and hurt anybody's toes. Uh, if you're on a, on a boat, reattach the bungee system. Remember, we don't put the cap back on. We want to leave that open so that they are aware that it's been used and that so they need to fill it with some air. So that's the basics of disassembling your, your system. And during your open water class, you're going to get to do it more times than you can imagine. You'll be able to do it in your sleep. So we'll join you next time.